Hey YouTubers, Lone Wolf Customs here, once again. Alright, well, whatever the electrical issue top situation was, it has reared its ugly little head again. You know, I had it running, now it's acting stupid again. Um, so, the guy told me that it lost, that the cart had lost spark, right? So, it died, one run, no spark, checked out a bunch of things, pretty much boiled it down to there's three things it could possibly be. It's either the electronic pickup, it's inside here, which involves me taking this off, and oil, and everything else, so I'm hoping it's not that, so that'll be the last thing I test, I mean change. Could be this little box the CDI box or it could be the coil currently I have ordered the CDI box brand new and if that doesn't fix it I'll put a new coil on it and if that doesn't fix it I'll order the pickup for inside the freaking engine which I don't want to have to pull that apart but you know it is what it is uh, and between the three it should work and if it still doesn't, well, one, I get a bunch of parts, and two, I basically, I'll rebuild the freaking entire harness. I've got the diagram. I can read diagrams. It's very useful to read diagrams. But other than that, I've actually been riding the thing a little bit. I took the gas tank, put acid in it, cleaned it thoroughly so it's functioning. Got the seat. Cleaned the carb. And I'd been riding it around. I rode it around for a day or two. And then come out to fire it up. And wouldn't do shit. So. I even wired up a little turn signal light on the back. Just so there's a light shining. So if it's dark, somebody don't run my ass over. A little janked up. But, you know. I want to make sure it's fully functioning before it goes into the cart. Uh... Who would have figured it is this damn difficult to find parts to build a jack shaft? Especially when you're on a budget. And my budget is small on this one. If I have to buy all three parts, that's 50 bucks. I've got 50 in the go-kart, 40 in this. So that's 90 plus 50 more that'd be 140 and that's not even getting into the jack shaft stuff if I go to track supply I'm probably gonna have close to $200 in, in a jack shaft if I go through go power sports which I've been trying to contact calling them several times they never answer I don't do emails so can't get a hold of them to buy the parts I need from them. So, I might have to get creative. Don't know. Um, took one of the go kart wheels, same bolt pattern, stuck it on here because it held air. Had it tire leaks down. This one leaks down slow, so does this one, but these stay up for a while. That one pretty much overnight's flat. Not a big deal, but still functioning. Um, go-kart currently, you know, of course I took the wheels off, flipped the rear end, back, done a lot of measurements, a lot of calculating. Pretty sure I've got it figured out how I'm going to do it, it's just a matter of actually doing it. So, getting the parts to do the jack shaft is going to be the thing that's going to basically take a while I guess because that's the main thing I'm after right now um, kind of enjoying the four-wheeler a little bit um, I get her running again I'll probably do a video of that giving you a heads up of what is going on letting you know um, stay tuned subscribe you know like the video more people see it share it Facebook whatever you know Anybody you think would be interested in doing this themselves one day or maybe even uh, 
just interested in the entertainment of a guy in a dirt floor garage in the backwoods of the country putting a four-wheeler engine on a go-kart you know maybe fun um yep till next time bye